Hello and welcome to this short video. I will explain how pool party workflows work like and uh, for this purpose I created a little uh, project which is about uh, Apollo missions of NASA. Uh, you can see here there are two concept schemes. One is about astronauts, the other one is about missions. And um, yeah, I'm logged in. Um, as a user called demo admin. So you can see here uh, already I have two uh, concepts I should uh, put an action upon, which means they are set to draft. And as a demo admin, in that case, I'm allowed to uh, either assign it to other users or to approve it. So I can either click on one of the pro uh, concepts which should be uh, further elaborated. So here you can see the icon which uh, shows that uh, the concept is set to draft. Uh, you can also see the current uh, assignee which is uh, the user I'm logged in with. And here you can see there are two possible actions I can now um, put on this concept. I could either approve it or assign it. Let's say I will assign Apollo 11 to another user since uh, let's say I'm not a, not the expert uh, about missions so we'll now assign that to another user which is on that server so you can see here are uh, reviewers and, and users two different roles in that case I will put it to demo user which is an ordinary uh, editor uh, who is not allowed to uh, to approve a concept but only to uh, set actions upon it like uh, add a new alternative label or add a new relation things like that and I will ask this person um, any uh, synonyms are missing and we'll save that and now you can see there is now another assignee which is the demo user and I have only one action left over. Now let's click on this one uh, concepts for review I will uh, be forwarded to the uh, dashboard now I can see here okay which concepts are uh, let's say my concepts I should uh, work uh, on them so in that case there is one concept which is this one moonwalkers that's assigned to me and as an administrator, I'm allowed to see all the concepts which have status draft. So in that case, it's two in total. One is assigned to, as I did just before, the demo user, and that's the one uh, which is assigned to me. I can take a look on the history now and see what happened already here. So I'm saying, okay, aha, uh -huh, there was an error, relation added, okay, uh, I think that's correct, Apollo 11 and uh, Neil Armstrong are uh, related to each other, and therefore I will set now the status to approved and say, okay, everything. Okay, Apollo 11 was commanded by Neil Armstrong. Uh, save that and now there is no concept left over which is assigned to me with a status draft and as an administrator I can still see uh -huh, there is one left over uh, but it's not assigned to me. Now I will log out and log in as demo user. and we'll take a look on that. So I will now open the project Apollo and I can go now to my dashboard that's here and I can see on my dashboard there's one concept uh, which is not approved yet and I have a question here any synonyms are missing I can take a look on that and say well I can put here maybe Apollo 11 save that and assign it back to one of the reviewers there's one in the system that's demo admin and I will right now I think now it's 
complete, save that, and going back to the dashboard, nothing left, left over, I can log out and go home. <laughs> uh, as a demo admin now, I will have now in my dashboard again a concept, so I can go to the dashboard, I can do the same up here, it's the same thing. I see here, ah, there's now Apollo 11. I think it's now complete. So therefore I can either reject it because I think it's still not complete or I could assign it to somebody else, let's say a second uh, person who is knowledgeable in that uh, field or I can approve it. First, I can still take a look on the, on the history. See, yeah, that's okay. I will now approve that and say, Okay, or we'll leave that blank, save that, and now everything is fine. So now I have a stable version of the Desauros, and if I want so now, I could, for instance, deploy it on my productive server, export to remote, remote repository, which might be my link data warehouse, uh, for instance, uh, universal server uh, virtuoso of OpenLink software and can make use of this knowledge graph in combination with other knowledge graphs and things like that. Yeah, that was the workflow functionality of the pool party thesaurus and ontology server. In another video um, I've showed also the history and uh, audit trail functionality Oh, in which the approval processes are uh, fully visible, so you can see at which point a uh, project was uh, set, where concepts were set to draft. For instance, here you can see all the approval processes in the history that's uh, described in another video in a more detailed level. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you liked the video and talk to you soon. Bye bye.